Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this transistor circuit and for the given circuit, we have been asked to find this current IC1. So here, these two transistors are matched perfectly and for these transistors, the value of the voltage VB is equal to 0.7 volt while the beta is equal to 100. So let us find the value of the IC1 for the given circuit. So here, let's say, this current is equal to I and if we apply the KCL at this node then we can write current I is equal to IC1 plus IB1 plus IB2 because the current which is going into these two terminals is equal to IB1 and the IB2 respectively. That means this current is equal to IB1 plus IB2. That means this current I is equal to IC1 plus IB1 plus IB2 or we can say that it is equal to beta times IB1 plus IB1 plus IB2 or we can say that this current I is equal to beta plus 1 times IB1 plus IB2. Let's call this equation as equation number 1. Now to find the relation between this IB1 and the IB2, let us apply the KVL in this loop. And here let's say this voltage is equal to VBE2 while this voltage is equal to VBE1. And here we have been given that voltage VBE is equal to 0.7 volt. That means VBE1 and the VBE2 is equal to 0.7 volt. So if we apply the KVL in this loop, then we can write minus VB2 minus IE2 times 0.6 kilo ohm plus 2.8 kilo ohm times IE1 plus VB1 is equal to 0. And since VB1 is equal to VB2, so these two terms will get cancel out. That means 2.8 kilo ohm times IE1 is equal to IE2 times 0.6 kilo ohm. That means beta plus 1 times IB1 times 2.8 kilo ohm that is equal to beta plus 1 times IB2 times 0.6 kilo ohm. Or if we simplify it, then we can say that this base current IB2 is equal to 4.667 times IB1. Let's call it as the second equation. Now to find this current IC1, let us apply one more KVL equation in this loop. So applying the KVL equation, we can write 10 volt minus 20 kilo ohm times I that is voltage drop across this 20 kilo ohm minus VB1 minus IE1 times 2.8 kilo ohm minus minus 10 is equal to 0 and this VB1 is equal to 0.7 volt. So if we further simplify it then we can say that 20 volt minus 0.7 volt is equal to 20 kilo ohm times I plus 2.8 kilo ohm times IE1. That means 19.3 volt is equal to 20 kilo ohm times beta plus 1 times IB1 plus IB2 that is from the first equation plus 2.8 kilo ohm times beta plus 1 times IB1. So here this beta is equal to 100 and as we have seen this IB2 is equal to 4.8. 667 times IB1. So putting all these values, we can write this expression as 19.3 that is equal to 20 kilo ohm times 101 times IB1 plus 4.667 times IB1 plus 2.8 kilo ohm times 101 times IB1. So if we further simplify this expression, and find the value of this base current IB1, 
then it will come out as 8.054 microampere and from this we can say that the skeletal current IC1 is equal to beta times IB1 that is equal to 100 times 8.054 microampere that is equal to 0 0.8054 milliampere that means we can say that the skeletal current IC1 is equal to 0 0.8054 milliampere that means from this we can say that the current IC1 in the given circuit is equal to 0 0.8054 milliampere